Hi, this is Clayton with Dev Collaborative, and in this video, we are going to improve the block administrative experience for editors. So I am logged in as an editor, and as you can see, I've got access to every single block on the website. I can move the page title below uh, the main page content. I could move the search out of here. I could even disable it entirely. Um, when in reality, the only thing that we really want to do as an editor is edit this one donate block and change the, the text um, or maybe hide it, put it put it back on the site for a certain time of year. Um, and the reason I have access to so much is because in the block system in Drupal, there's only one permission that controls all of the block system, which is administer blocks. Um, there is a Drupal court issue to add more granularity and have more permissions for the block system. Um, and but it needs work. Um, it is being actively discussed. Uh, but in the meantime, there are some contributed modules that you can use to, to achieve this. Uh, so the first is the block permissions module. So I'm going to, I've already installed it. Now I'm just going to enable it. And so it, breaks down that administer block settings permission by theme and then by where that block is coming from, which is super helpful. So a really common scenario is to allow editors to edit blocks that are on the public facing theme. So in this case, Bartik on this site, um, and that's it. And then as far as like what blocks um, uh, they should edit, it's coming from the block content system. All of these others, blocks created by search, blocks created by system, user, usually editors don't need to worry about those. So now if I toggle back to my view here as an editor and I refresh the page, you can see all of those configure links are gone for all of those blocks, except for the one that I want to work with, the donate block. So this is great. This is a huge improvement. Um, we can take this a step further and, um, and by using another module called block region permissions. And this does what the name of the module says, which is limit uh, access to blocks based on the regions in a theme. So a theme has different regions, different sections of the page. And so in this case, we are working with the Bartik theme. Let's say that we know that the blocks that an editor is going to be editing are always going to be in the featured bottom first, second, or third regions. We do that, save these permissions. Now, instead of seeing all of these regions and all of these blocks that I can't edit anyway, it's pared down to those three. And that also controls where I can place a block. Um, so that's really helpful if you have a consistent um, defined set of regions that you know your editors need to work with and nothing else. Okay, so this is much better. Um, another thing, though, is that right now, as an editor, I can create new custom block types. Um, and so the block type is like a content type. You can associate specific fields to different types of blocks. Typically, that's something that a developer will do or a site administrator will do and not an editor. An editor is just adding new block blocks using the existing block types. So that brings us to our last third and last module, the block content permissions module. So I'll come over here, block content permissions, install, come to the permissions page, and here, I 
Okay, and here you can say it breaks it down by uh, create, delete, and edit of block of block content. So in this case, we want our editor to be able to create, delete, and edit um, all of those different types of blocks. But we do not want them administering block content types, and we don't want them viewing restricted block content. So save that. Hop over to our editor page. And now we have the ability to add a new block, but we do not have the ability to add a new block type. So there you have it, a much cleaner, much more manageable block editing experience for your editors. And only took three modules. They're all very well maintained. Um, and play nicely with each other, which is great.